Assalamu alaikum students, this is Farwa Badul, your O-level computer science instructor and welcome to another video of chapter number 10, Boolean logic. So we are done with activity 10.2. We have done question number one, question number two, the whole exercise. Now in this video, we will be doing activity 10.3 of your book. The activity says that uh, produce a truth table and a logic circuit from the following logic expression. So in question number one, a logic expression is given to you. This one. And what you have to do, you have to produce truth table for that and a logic circuit. So first of all, I will tell you that how we can make a truth table of such an expression. Okay, I have already made it on Excel. So I will share it with you. Okay. So look at this. This is the table that I have made on Excel to show you the proper working of this. So what you have to do actually, first you have to identify the number of input variables in your expression. Look at your expression. Here you have A, B and C. There are three letters or three input values. So for that you will be making three columns, one for each. A, B, C. And remember that in order to find out the number of input combinations, these are the input combinations that I have written from 1 till 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And why there are 8 different input combinations? Because remember the formula 2 raised to the power n, where n is your number of inputs. So in this case, number of inputs are A, B, C, 3. So when you will write 2 raised to the power 3, it will give you 8. So 8 combinations will be filled in the truth table for 3 input values A, B and C. Now what are these input combinations? It must be in the binary form in the form of zeros and ones and every combination must be different from the other one. So look at here, we will start from 0, 0, 0. All values are 0, then we will make C1 and then B1 and then B and C1. So it's a complete method that how you should fill this input combination. So you need to learn this you can see my previous videos. We have already worked on how to make these input combinations that are different from one another. Okay. Now the next thing is once you are clear about the number of input values and you fill the input combinations. Now in the logic expression you have to see is there any input value that is being inverted. Inverted means that the input value must be with NOT. The NOT gate is basically the inversion or it inverts the input value. So if I see NOT with a variable, I have to make the column for it. So look at here. I have NOT A in my logic expression and I have NOT B in my logic expression. That's why if you see my truth table, I have made now, two columns here. Now, the first one is not A and the other one is not B. Now, next, after looking at the inverted values, we make the columns and then you have to see the number of brackets that you have. So the first bracket in my logic expression is not A and B. So what you will do, you will make a column for not A and B here and you will make another column for not B or C. Because we need to solve the bracket first in order to find out the result of the whole expression. So once you are done with bracket 1 and 2, then you will be calculating the whole result or the whole output value. So this is this will be your final result that you have to perform an end operation between these two brackets. So let's start the working. It's very, very simple. 
let's start with the first column that you have to do not a not a means that you will be inverting whole values this whole column the column of a will be inverted and it means that 0 becomes 1 1 1 1 1 and 1 becomes 0 this is what we do now next we have to work on not b not b means that you have to invert the values of column b so if it is 0 make it 1 and if it is 1 make it 0 it becomes like this so once you are done with not a and not b then you will be working on bracket 1 of your logic expression which is not a and b so not a and b means that it will be a multiplication between two columns what are these two columns the first one will be not a not a is this one here and b b is this one so the values will be multiplied why i am saying multiplication because look over here there is an and operation between not a and v b okay so and means that you will be multiplying the bits multiply bits so look at the values not a is 1 and b is 0 so 0 into 1 is 0 you will fill like this then this is 1 and this is 0 0 into 1 is 0 then this is 1 and this is 1 1 into 1 is 1 then this is 1 and this is 1 1 into 1 is 1 then 0 0 0 into 0 is 0 0 into 0 is 0 1 into 0 is 0 and 1 into 0 is again 0 so this is how you have to do not a and b now the second bracket of your logic expression will be calculated as not b or c so the columns that you need to consider is not b this one and c this one and what you have to see you have to see the values and make them addition or or gate is in between the two columns so it means that you have to add bits addition will be done so look over here let me just clean these dots in order to avoid any mistake now we will consider column c and not b and we will add them since there is an or operation between them 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 1 0 plus 0 is 0 1 plus 0 is 1 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 1 0 plus 0 is 0 1 plus 0 is 1 so we are done with not b or c now finally what you have to do if you are done with both the brackets now there is end operation between them if you see over here in my logic expression there is an end operation between not a and b and not b or c so we will see the values and we will multiply them 0 into 1 is 0 0 into 1 is 0 1 into 0 is 0 1 into 1 is 1 0 into 1 is 0 
0 into 1 is 0. 0 into 0 is 0. 0 into 1 is 1. Oh, 0. So, this is how you have to fill the truth table according to the logic expression. We are done with part 1. Now, let's quickly draw the logic circuit of this logic expression. Let me quickly write the logic expression for you. Okay, so this is the given logic expression. Let's make a logic circuit. Now, in order to make the logic circuit, first, you have to identify the number of inputs A, B, C and you will be making three input lines. This is A, this is input B and this is input C. Now, we have to make the circuit for each of these brackets. So, look at your first bracket. First bracket says that not A and B. It means that the value of A will be inverted since there is a not with input value A. So, we have to make it not A through an inverter. We will make an inverter and then the value of A becomes not A. Not A will be end with the value of B. So, it means that B and not A, both of them will pass through an AND gate. So, this is how you are going to have not A and B. So, we are done with the first bracket. Now, quickly see the second bracket. The second bracket has an input value not B or C. Not B means that the value of B, let's take from here, must be inverted. So, we will invert the value of B in order to get not B. Then not B will pass through an OR gate with another input C. So, C will be coming through here and this is not B. Make an OR gate in order to get not B or C. So, once you are done with the brackets, then you have to pass both of these brackets through AND gate. So, here one input is not A and B and the other input is not B or C. And the final gate that will end them is your AND gate. And once it is passed through an AND gate, then you can simply write it is not A and B passed through an AND gate with another input value which is not B or C. It is like that and this is going to be your final output. We can say X. This is how you can make the circuit of the given logic expression. We are done with the whole question number 1 of activity 10.3. If you have any query, any problem, you can comment below. I'm definitely going to help. Stay tuned, stay connected for question number two of activity 10.3. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.